straight off the plane and straight down to business for Mike Pompeo, attending a meeting of the 29 NATO foreign ministers in Brussels. I did come straight away. I was sworn in yesterday afternoon, hopped on a plane and came straight here. Uh, there's good reason for that. Uh, the, the work that's being done here today is invaluable. Uh, our objectives are important and this mission matters an awful lot to the United States of America. The positive tone of the new Secretary of State will be exactly what the NATO leadership wants to hear. U.S. President Donald Trump has regularly criticized the alliance and at one time called it obsolete. Mike Pompeo has already started pressing his NATO counterparts to raise their military spending. It's the job of many U.S. Secretary of States before him, with the U.S. constantly pressing European allies mainly to reach the 2% of GDP target set four years ago. And the U.S. Secretary of State told NATO ally Turkey they're not happy. Ankara is buying an advanced S-400 surface-to-air missile system from Russia, which isn't compatible with other NATO systems. Turkey is reported to have no intention of turning its back on the $2.5 billion deal for the S-400s it made at the end of last year. This meeting also focused on NATO's strained relations with Russia over the suspected nerve agent attacks of recent months. We see more attempts to intimidate and uh, destabilize, including cyber attacks, efforts to undermine our democratic institutions, disinformation and propaganda, and even the use of chemical uh, weapons in uh, Salisbury. This meeting will also be the last to ever take place in the current NATO headquarters in Brussels, which was supposed to be temporary, but has housed the alliance for 51 years now. It's moving across the road to its new building, where further discussions of this nature will take place. Jack Parrick, CGTN, Brussels.